All right, life goes on. Where does it go, actually? Okay, so that's gonna be the final gate or something like that, approximately. Well, don't we not have things to to draw to go here? Weirdly enough, this is the one part of the game I actually remember just a little bit. The city. But don't we have to draw things here first? Like, we don't have a weapon for, for here or anything. Yeah, also, I, I remember being big. I thought I remember there being a justification for us being big. Is there not? Very different music. Okay, why not? Can I think of any notable boulders? Or at least circular things? Actually, I can. Give me a second. I have an idea. Alright. And they actually made the circle for me this time. That's fantastic. Okay. This is a game that I never even thought I would actually think to, to make any... Oh, man. Any references to. But here we are. Oh, this is going to be kind of a pain. I'm wanting to use uh, white for a lot of this. So excuse the time this is inevitably going to take. Because there's n you can't... There's no equivalent of the fill bucket for erasing stuff. But like, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing with this outline. But consequently it's going to take forever to get rid of the outline. Or to get rid of the, the interior, I mean. This is going to take a bit. It's a very simple concept, I promise you. It's just a weirdly big thing we have to draw here. But yeah, so the game's just not acknowledging us being... Oh, never mind, never mind. Never mind what I said earlier, the game does indeed give us a reason for being big. They talked about being big after eating a particular thing or whatever, the fruits from those bushes, right? Sorry, it's been a week since I saw that text just now. Okay. Do we want to try to erase all of this right now? We probably do, truth be told. Um, do we? Maybe not, actually. Because um, we will have other white stuff to draw. One thing I didn't think about was what palette we want for this. Um, this is the right one, I think. Okay. So, this one's going to be kind of rough to get working quite right, I admit. But let's see what we can do. Um, number one, let's make you a lot. Number two... Um, now we can start with something kind of vague and go from there, I think. Like, I like that. And then from there we can work something out. This feels like too much. Well, that one does. That one might not. Mm. I'll make this slimmer. sense. Okay. But then, I want to be a bit more precise with this. Let's see how well I can pull this one off, because this one actually sounds pretty tricky to me, if you were to just describe it to me in words, or show me a, f a picture of what I'm trying to imitate here. It's fun to challenge yourself, though, so... 
see what we can pull off. Um, let me call it a little bit darker like that. Um, so that's a start. I'm going to have to kind of refine this gradually. This might be the sort of thing where I want to actually do something I haven't been doing before now and um, try introducing Dithered Shadows maybe. That might be pushing it a bit though, in terms of what I can pull off. But otherwise it might be a little difficult to do what I'm going for here. We'll have to find out. Because otherwise it's one of those cases you just have so few colors to work with, can you actually pull it off? Um, so I'm basically only working with a couple of shades of blue here. I'm trying to see if I can make an entire something out of that. Um, so from here, I, I could actually like to make the very edge of this lighter. Cleaning up this black is going to take forever. Yeah, though, I don't know why. I specifically remember this part of the game. Just a little bit. Not a lot of it, but... I do have some recollection of the town. Something about it seemed memorable to me. I'm not sure what. I might actually make the highlight go around the entire ridge here. It's a big question whether or not I'm even going to be able to produce the, the sense of space that I'm going for here. Um, so at this point I can probably fill in this middle part. How many of the colors do I have available am I actually using here? Some. Um, I kind of like. Hmm. This feels like a sore thing where it's going to be really tough if I'm not using. Oh. Any kind of dithering. capable of doing dithering, I'm just not sure if it's going to work out here or not, because I don't usually use it for shading. extend outward a little bit. See, I feel like we're, we're getting somewhere. It's just definitely not... It's not enough, the couple shades that I have here.
I think this is actually a start. If I were to just take what I have now, and maybe... Start working it out from there. Actually, honestly, I'm not sure it was the right idea of putting the highlight on here. Yeah, but then I have no distinction there. Between these different sections. I'll probably get rid of some of the highlights here. Like here, I think it makes no sense to have a highlight because that's facing away from the light source, if anything. Really, most of these bits here are doing exactly that. From here, I should probably still have some. The brighter color here, though. Getting kind of messy here now. A bit there, so I think I would just take what I have now and maybe dither that a bit. That might get me somewhere. See what that can get me. Fairly light dithering job, but This is one of those cases where I had a pretty simple idea, but um, it took a little while to execute. Keep putting this further to the left than I intend to. Ah. This is one of those cases where the grid might help a little bit if I use the thing.
Yeah, I'm not going for the kind of gritty texture you end up getting with um, with dithering here, though, which is bugging me a little bit because it's not quite the, the aesthetic that I'm desiring here. I want something cleaner looking, but can't get the lighting to be convincing otherwise. So I'm going to be very, very lightly to there. Just a bit. very different look. I guess probably this is just experimenting with what it looks like if I do dither shading like this. I'm just not super happy with the aesthetic it brings out though. I never really liked super obviously dithered looking things. I usually prefer cleaner stuff. Cleaner, harder shadows on like more cartoony looking things. I don't think is a surprise to anyone who sees what kinds of things I play on here. They tend to be very cartoony looking things. thought was I might do a little bit over here. script. Of course, in part because I can't see it, but that's my fault. I think one of the reasons I tend not to use the grid is because it changes how you control the cursor, which bugs me a little bit. It's a thought. Um, the curves could still be a little bit nicer on the center, but it's an idea. Um, and then from there, what now? Because this isn't all of it. Um, trying to think precisely how to go about this. because I only have one shade of white to work with here. It just going to make this a little bit more difficult than it would be if I had um, some transparency to work with here. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out which features of the... of my reference to try to imitate here. Yeah, there's one I kind of want to... There's a particular effect I want to try to get here, but I don't think I can. Unfortunately, that's the, the thing that I find the most visually appealing about it. I don't think I can do it with that kind of transparency, so I just do a, a lazy little... lazy little highlight like this. 
I mean, like if it was a bubble or something. Which it is not, but... Now that I think about it, I did draw this rather like a, a bubble of some sort. No. kind of lazy highlight there, but I don't have the means to imitate a more realistic one, I don't feel like, right now. No, I, I guess I'll say that's everything. Wish I could have added a bit more realistic highlights on here. But I just don't, I don't know of a way to do that with what I have here. So, I'll end the episode with me. Unwrapping all this stuff here. I feel like it's probably fairly apparent what this thing's supposed to be now. The, the question is whether you know what it's actually supposed to be from, not what kind of an object it is. Because it is, of course. Like most other things I've, I've drawn here, a reference to something. And it is indeed a reference to something on this channel, although... Not necessarily... Something that I thought I was going to end up referencing, just because it hadn't occurred to me as a possibility. Oh dear. They really need to give you a different background color here. The fact that they made the background color one of the colors that you have is ridiculous. I wonder if the second draw until I fixed that problem, because it sounds like it's fixed a lot of the problems that I've had with this game. And this I think is one of the more egregious ones, because it seems very obvious that somebody would have this problem. Like, I don't know how you would not run into this problem while playtesting, for instance, at some point. It makes what would otherwise be easy, just filling something with white, extremely tedious otherwise. space here from this thing so I don't have to worry too much about it being here So I scrape when I start recording session and immediately spend a ton of time drawing something random. But that is the game, so... So 
Although I did wish it didn't involve constantly going over intended episode time, that is one issue. It's just hard to always get these things done in 15 minutes. So you can probably tell it's a marble, hopefully. I'd like to think you can tell it's a marble. It's specifically intended to be a reference to the marble from the Code Arting Bus series, which I quite enjoyed playing through on this channel. Okay. If I want something easier, I probably could have done the, the ball from Paper Ball instead, but Code Arting Bus I have a stronger connection to. All right, next time we push this marble around. Bye everyone. <laughs>